Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to the TGIF Report. I'm Mike Moliterno. Today is New Issue Day, or Dia de Issue Nuevo. Now, the day is celebrated in a variety of ways across the world. In fact, the celebration dates back to the 12th century BC in ancient Samaria, when it is written that the hero King Gilgamesh descended into the underworld to retrieve several brand new periodicals for his subjects to read. We do things a little differently today, so let's descend into the mid-July issue. Kicking off our Brain Gain coverage, Deanne Johnson brings us this story on the KSU Rising Scholars program. Started in Columbiana, the program, which encourages students to imagine beyond a future they may have once thought possible, is now a model for the Kent State system. Then in our Cautious Investor column, Ryan Glynn with W3 Wealth Management talks about what to expect from your financial advisor during a bear market, territory which U.S. equity markets entered in June. Moving on to this issue's shop local story, we see how Morgan Furniture, in business since 1996, weathered the pandemic and the resulting challenges in the supply chain. We're managing those issues uh, as best we can. C certain things we can't get quickly and we try and communicate that to the customer. What is available now and what may take longer mm -hmm. and those sorts of things. But we do have significant inventory on hand right here in town the customer can get. You can find more stories on local businesses by clicking Shop Local under the News tab at businessjournaldaily.com. On the following page, we bring you the latest of our case studies with Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC on General Motors' push to EV adoption. In the story, we see how GM is updating the Buick brand, which is seeing strong sales in the U.S., particularly among women. The largest percentage of, uh, of female buyers in the U.S. are Buick buyers, 56.1%. Uh, of, of our customers are females. One of the featured topics in the mid-July issue is colleges and universities. In our first story, Lily Schaefer talks to colleges about the strategies they're employing to lessen the impact of the demographic cliff, the result of a drop in the birth rate between 2008 and 2013. Then Faith Marcio looks at how colleges are adjusting to the increase of online classes. And in our real estate coverage, Dan O'Brien finds out-of-town investors are gobbling up local industrial sites, seeing an opportunity to purchase quality sites at a lower risk than elsewhere in the country. You can read all of these stories and more in the mid-July issue of the Business Journal. Click subscribe to find a plan that's right for you. And that is all for this week's TGIF report. Have a happy, safe weekend. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. 717 Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union, it's knowing you were treated right every time.